Hey everybody, uh, this is Graphing Simple Rational Functions, just like the last one that we did. So we're going to, they're not going to be in this form, and we're going to show, I'm going to show you how to convert them to this form. So here A is a vertical stretch or compression, and if it's in the denominator next to the X right here, notice it's X minus H, it's not like 3X minus H, it's X minus H. So if there's a number in front of that, we have to factor it out. Anyways, this number is 1 over B. <clears throat> so think reciprocal, whatever this number is right there, that's what B is. B is always the reciprocal. And B is your horizontal movement, not your vertical movement, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. So, all right, so let's get started. So uh, it says graph simple rational function. So we're going to rewrite the function in the form of um, uh, this, A times 1 over X minus H plus K, or this, uh, 1 uh, over 1 over B times X minus H plus K, and then graph it and state your domain and range. Okay, so here we go. Okay, now see how this doesn't look uh, like uh, either one of these guys. So what we're going to have to do is do long division. We're going to divide the bottom into the top, okay? We should be pretty comfortable with this because we just did this in the, in the last uh, unit. <clears throat> Excuse me. So x times 3 will get me 3x right there, okay? So if we do that, and then uh, parentheses and subtract, and be careful, negative 4 minus a minus 3 is going to be negative 4 plus 3, which is negative 1. So our answer is right there. It's going to be start at the top and go clockwise. So it's 3 plus 1 over our divisor, okay? I'm sorry, negative 1. <coughs> Excuse me. And then so there it is. And so look, this is looking closer to this right here. So what I'm going to do is put this plus 3 over here, okay? So that's the same thing right there. And notice I pulled that negative out. There's there's this guy right there. A is negative 1, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and graph this guy, okay? So um, here's the parent graph right there. The parent graph goes, oh, and I've been doing this in class. I'll emphasize it. I'm sorry for about uh, raising it, but... Uh, we go over one, here I go up one, okay? So we go to the right one, we go up one for the parent graph. All right, let's do the, the, the shift, the new origin. So to the right one, up three. So there's our new origin right there because of the negative one and three right there. Okay, now this will just start from here, you guys, okay? Except this graph, the parent graph goes uh, to the right one, up one. So what we're going to do here is we still go to the right one, but that negative says we're going to go down, down one. Sorry for raising my voice. I'm just that's how I emphasize it in class. So we'll put a point right there. Okay, the parent graph goes to the left one, down one right there. Okay, so this one's going to go to we still go to the left. We're not changing how much we go to the left or right. We're just changing how much we go up or down. So since this one went down, this one's going to go up. So we'll put a point right there. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then and then uh, our graph is just going to flare towards the new asymptotes. Okay, so here's x equals 1. Here's x equals 3. So it's just going to flare on both of those to that right there. So your domain is everything except the the vertical line x equals 1. So we say domain is everything is except that when the shorthand writing is just saying x doesn't equal 1. And the range is everything except this um, uh, horizontal line because it goes up forever over here. It goes down forever over here. It just doesn't cross this horizontal line, which is y equals 3. So the range is y doesn't equal 3. Okay, the domain is it goes to the left forever over here, goes to the right forever, but it doesn't cross the vertical line right there. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Lately, I haven't been able to see that stuff. I don't know if you can see this paint can either. We'll see. All right, so anyways, um, uh, maybe it's, this is better. Yeah, I'll do this little highlighter. We'll see if you could see that. Can you see my highlighter? I went over here and, and clicked that. If you can't, I don't know what's going on. Anyway, okay, so here's another one right here. Okay, so we're going to long divide, negative 2x plus 4 into 4x minus 7. Okay, so negative 2 times negative 2 will get me uh, positive 4x uh, right there. So we multiply negative 2 times negative 2x is, ne is 4x, and negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. Okay, so when we subtract, the 4x's will cancel, and we're left with negative 7 minus a minus 8, so it's negative 7 plus 8, so our remainder is 1. <clears throat> So we start at the top plus our remainder over our divisor, okay? All right, now, 
Remember what I said about three or four minutes ago? It has to be x minus h, not 2x plus 4. So I've got to pull this negative 2 out. So I need, need to make it negative 2 parentheses. And then it's going to change this plus 4 to a, a, a minus 2. Now, if you don't see what I just did, just imagine redistributing this negative 2 through. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x, and negative 2 times negative 2 is that plus 4. All right, so here's our b. Remember, this is 1 over b. It's at the reciprocal, so b is actually negative 1 half right there. Okay, all right, so here's our parent graph. So the parent graph goes um, uh, over 1, up 1. Okay, here's our new origin. So we shifted to the right 2, down 2. Remember, opposite, same. So I went over 2, down 2. That's the new origin. So I'm going to move off of this and use this stuff right here. Now this negative 2 is my 1 over b. So that says b must be negative 1 half. And if you can't see that, just think of this as negative 2 over 1. And then cross multiply, you get negative 2b equals 1, or b equals negative 1 half. Anyways, b is negative 1 half. Okay, so we still go up one, but we go over. It's changing the over part, so I'm going to emphasize the over part, okay? So this one here, the parent graph goes over one to the right one, up one. We still go up one, except this negative one half says we're going to go from this origin, the new origin, to the left a half, up a half, okay? And the parent graph goes left a half down, I'm sorry, left one down one, so we still go down one, it doesn't change the up down part, it just changes the horizontal part, so instead of going to the left one, we're going to go from this origin right here, the new origin, to the right a half down one, okay, so there it is, and then just flare it towards the asymptotes right there. And again, our domain is everything except this vertical line, x equals 2. So x doesn't equal 2 is our domain, and y doesn't equal negative 2 for that guy. Okay? All right, so here we got a couple of these. So write a function of the graph shown using this form. Okay, so they give you a picture of a graph right here. And there, this is telling me this a in front says it's a vertical shift. So the horizontal doesn't change. Okay? So remember, the parent graph goes over 1, up 1. Okay, well, let's do the hk first, okay? Opposite, same. So this is over 3, so it's going to be x minus 3, and then this is up 4, so it's going to be, the k is going to be plus 4. Okay, so there's that right there. All right, now the parent graph, I'm over here. I don't know if you can see my cursor. I'm over here at the parent graph. This, the, this 1 in quadrant 1 is, is um, uh, over 1, up 1. Okay, again, sorry for me emphasizing it like that. Okay, but this one goes, uh, this graph from this origin goes over 1, up 2. Okay, that's what A is. A is 2. Okay, so there we go. There's our answer right there. Okay, all right, let's do a horizontal one. Same directions, but we got a horizontal one because they want us to write it in this form of 1 over B. Okay, let's do the hk first. So h looks like is negative 3, so this is going to be opposite x plus 3, and this is going to be the same. So this is y equals negative 1, so uh, put a minus 1 right there. Okay, I'll talk about the negative that I just inserted in right there. Okay, so there's my plus 3 and minus 1. Now the reason why it's negative, you guys, and um, I shouldn't have put that in there just yet, but that's okay. We'll figure it out in just a second. Okay, so let's go back to the parent graph. Okay, so from the origin, we go to the right, I'll say it, so we go to the right one, up one. Okay, this one goes to the left two, up one. Okay, so B is negative 2. Okay, so this is b is negative 2, so it's going to be 1 over negative 2. Okay, so we get uh, negative 1 half is 1 over negative 2. And your book answer, they, they just change uh, 1 half to 0.5, so negative 0.5. I guess this looks a little bit cleaner. Anyways, all right, you guys, if you are in my class, that's going to be your assignment. Take care.